Do you want to learn how to add multiple translations to your videos in Premiere Pro? Whether you're going to use them for social media, online world or anything else, it's very, very easy to do. I will save you a lot of time, so the least you can do is subscribe to this channel and check out the thanks button under this video. So you go to your caption track, which is called subtitle by default. You re right click, you rename and let's do this is the English version. OK, now I want to do a different language. OK, and let's do Slovak language because this is the language I know. So if you want to translate this, you don't have to do double click and then do the translation like yourself. If this is a longer text, you can use the professional translators for any languages, but you need to deliver SRT file to them. OK, so that's why go to your text panel. If you don't see it, go to window text and you will see the panel and click on the three dots right here. Export to SRT file, which everybody can be able to open with their text editor on Windows. It's a little bit easier on Mac. You need to find some text editor from the app store. So you export this. It has the timing. It has the style. It has everything that you need. Uh, I'm going to open this. I'm on a Mac, so I need to go to other and uh, the text editor I'm using that I've downloaded is called text edit. And this is all has styling as well, the color and the font and everything. So if you send this to translator, the only thing that they do change is the content. Be aware they cannot change like even space in this area or comma or anything like that, because it's not going to work when you import into Premiere Pro, you're going to get um, error, you're going to have missing lines and so on. By the way, if that happens, watch my other video, I'm going to put the link in the corner of the screen because it's going to save you your life. <laughs> I'll show you how to find and fix the mistake. So I'm going to start now translating. So OK, so I'm not going to translate the whole thing, but I want you to see the point. OK, so now I'm going to save this. And of course, you make it. You have the original version. This is the version you send to the translator. And they're going to just go to file, save. OK, close this. And when they send this to you, um, you can even, of course, they're going to choose the different name. So this could be like a Slovak version. And then what happens is you need to create another track in your Premiere Pro. So right click on the track, add track. OK, these styles are you leave it by default. OK, it's like 99 percent of the time. This is what you need, especially for online world. Click OK. You have another track right here. This the first track, which is English, immediately goes invisible. OK, because Premiere Pro understands what you're trying to do. You right click and I'm going to rename this as Slovak. I'm going to take my playhead to the beginning of the of the sequence of the video. A couple of ways you can import subtitles um, by you can go to file import or you can drag and drop into the files. Uh, where do I have them? Slovak version import. OK, and then how you can import this exactly with the right timing, just make sure you're your playhead is exactly where it should be from the start of the video. And then you can use the insert or overwrite. OK, so basically I can right click um, insert or overwrite into the sequence. So I'm going to overwrite this way. Oh, hang on. I need to select C1 as my C2 as my C C2 as my C1. And then I can overwrite. OK. And now if you look at the captions and actually you see, I actually started a bit earlier. So what I can do is I can select this track and just shift it to the start. And you can see they are completely aligned 100 percent right now. So, yeah, you, you have to be aligned uh, exactly at the start of the subtitle, not, not necessarily start of the sequence. Yes, I do have my styles basically. But uh, some of the like, you know, what I can do, I can just change this style and I'm back at it if there's any, you know, because it kept the font and the color. If you have any issues, you just go and change the styles within the essential graphics panel. And now it looks exactly like it's supposed to. Um, and I can just align it in the same place. This is my Slovak version. 
and this is my English version. This is literally how you do it if you want to create more tracks. You right click on the track, add track, create another trans translation and all the captions will be inserted just where they should be, okay? Um, it couldn't be easier really guys and if you found this video helpful do subscribe check out the thanks button under this video if you have any questions comment below i'm gonna answer all of them and i will see you next time and i hope you found it helpful